Hello and welcome back. So now that we have uh, the FS Logix software installed on both of our uh, pool VMs, what we need to do is configure uh, that software. And to do that, we're going to create a couple of uh, registry keys on each server. And then we're going to run a net use command and an icackles command from an elevated prompt to assign permissions where necessary. On the screen here, I'm logged into my uh, management machine. And from there, I'm RDP'd into both of my pool machines. I'm RDP'd in as my uh, AADDS admin account. So what we'll do is we'll start off here with 10.0.1.4. And we're basically going to run the same process on each of these servers. So to kick things off, we'll launch regedit as an administrator. And from here, I'll just close this up so you can see where I'm navigating. We need to configure FS logics and the keys that we need to enter here will be under the H key local machine hive within software and then under FS logics. What we need to do here is create a key called profiles. So from within FS logics, we'll go ahead, create a new key and we'll call it profiles. Now inside the profiles key, we need to add two entries. We need to add a D word entry and a multi-string value. So with profiles highlighted here, we'll right click, we'll go to new, and then we'll do D word here. Now this entry here needs to have a name of enabled with a value of one. So we'll call this enabled. And then we'll open this up and set the value data to one. So now we have enabled here. And then what we need to do is create another entry here. And this one's going to be a multi string value. And this is called VHD locations. Now, if I open up VHD locations, we need to add here the file share location for the uh, file share we created that SMB format string. So that's going to bring me over to my text file here where I saved my path earlier. And we're going to use this one right here. We'll copy this, we'll minimize, and we'll paste it in. And we'll okay it. And then you get a warning here just saying, you know, hey, if there's any empty strings, we're going to remove them. And that's fine. So at this point, we now have the uh, profiles key configured for the 10.0.1.4 pool machine. So now that we have these keys added, what we need to do is open an elevated command prompt and we need to run a net use command and an I cackles command. And essentially what this is going to do is set the path here to a Z drive uh, from within this VM. The I cackles command is going to grant access to Joey Kanish. Now to run this command, what we'll do is open up our command prompt in an elevated fashion. So we're opening it as an admin. And I'm not going to type this command out because it's really long. What I'll do is I'll paste it in. And then what I'll do is I'll explain it to you. And then I'll actually uh, leave a copy of these commands in a text file within the resources section. So you have them. So we'll go ahead and copy it. And then we'll paste it in here. And before we run it, let me just explain what's happening here. We're essentially using a net use command to create a map drive using the Z uh, drive letter. That mapping is going to our file share in Azure. And then this forward slash U with the Azure backslash uh, Burks bikes storage. What this is essentially is uh, the username that you need to use to access the file share in Azure file shares. And then the access key that we copied and pasted in essentially serves as the password. So you're essentially doing a net use Z using this as your file share path and then specifying your username and your password is essentially what's happening here. And we'll go ahead and enter this and we can see the command has completed successfully. And now that we have the net use run, what we need to do is grant Joey Kanish access uh, to the file share. And we'll paste this command in here. And essentially, we're running an icackles on Z 
granting Joey Kanish at BurksBikes.com F. It's essentially full access. And we can see we successfully processed one file and failed none. So now from 10.014, we have our uh, FS Logics access set up properly. And now we'll do the same thing for 10.015. Again, we're in local machine software FS Logics. And what we'll do is create a new key. And it's called profiles. And then if we highlight profiles, we create a new D word and we call that D word enabled. And we set the value to one. And that doesn't matter whether it's hex or decimal, uh, the value of one is still one either way. And then what we'll do here is create another value. And this one is multi string. This one is called VHD locations. We open VHD locations. Again, I'll move over to my notepad here. I'll copy my location here in SMB format. And we'll paste it in and OK it. Again, we get the warning, which is fine. And then what we'll do is we'll scroll down here and we'll open up a command prompt, an elevated command prompt. And from here, we'll run our net use command again. And again, I'm just copying it from my notepad here. We can see that the command has completed successfully. And then we'll run the same iCackles command. And again, we have a successful process of one file with no failures. So at this point, we now have FS logics configured on both of our pull VMs. What we'll do is call it a wrap for this lesson. And in the next one, we'll go ahead and create the FS Logics profile.